Well, Helga, you're yes. very like, controversial. Is this the reason why you got dragged into the war between Western women and Filipinas? Tell us about that. My TikTok niche was all about me answering questions. I was giving information. What is it like dating a Filipina? What are the pros and cons about the Philippines? And all that. So I was just basically sharing our tradition, right? So the funny thing is, there's a lot of men keep asking me, hey, is, is Filipina attracted to Black men? Is Are they attracted to Mexican? All this type of men. So I was... I was super honest. So I did mention that you don't get to see a lot of Filipina dating black men because discriminations against dark skin color in the Philippines. So I, I'm sure you've experienced a lot of discrimination because you have tan skin, right? So I was being honest with, with what I have to say. And next thing you know, I... I was called racist because they don't understand. Uh, they don't know how the Philippines um, situation or the tradition or tr um, culture, right? They don't understand. And so they called me racist. A lot of them, they, at least I received four death threats. They said, you're racist. I'm gonna do this to you. If I see you, um, you better like anything, anything. So I ignored it, but most of, most of the time when they, they send me re, um, threat, threat, threatening words, I expose them because if something happens to me, they can go back to my old videos and they can just look at it. And then mm -hmm. I guess it started when that girl said something that, you know what, you can have all the black men, they're just um, toys anyway. They're just toys. So I made that video. I said, really, they're just toys because, you know, we love like, no, she actually said, you can have our leftovers. We don't want them. And then I said, you know, in the Philippines, we love leftovers because leftovers are the best. So a lot of Western ladies were mad at me because I said that. And I was being honest, right? I said, you know, here in the Western world, like for you you think that you can just easily like you can easily play a uh, play men's emotion but you know in 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 the western world not all ladies but in my experience of being here i noticed that when you are you're dating uh um western ladies it's it's like normal for them to go back to the guy's house to you know to the chill and, uh, yeah, <laughs> more than that. So yeah, all, Netflix and all, chill. Yeah, all all the men have to do is to feed them at the nice restaurant, um, have give them a drink, and then next thing you know, hey, you wanna you wanna you wanna go back to my place? And if she said yes, that means it's yes to everything. And for me, I brought myself here carrying our tradition. You know, like be with one man only, be loyal to your man, be faithful to your man. And so that's what I've been doing. Like it was shocking. There are a lot of black women who are arguing with black men. And then at the same time, they were on to me at the same time. So at the same time, I was bringing up the our Philippine flag and uh, protecting the name of Filipinas. And then... I guess there was a point that I don't know. I said something that, you know, we better be careful because there's a hyena movement started here in the Western world. The hyena were attacking me, but I did not say directly to that, to address that to the black woman. I started the word hyena movement. I did not. I like that term, <laughs> hyenas. <laughs> Like, <laughs> yeah, so I, I did not expect that it will become viral and people keep using hyena, hyena. I was like, okay, what have I done? Did I, did, did I do something wrong? Because people started using that name against those people. But then a lot of Black women were accusing me that apparently I was calling them hyenas. They were like, take back that word. You don't mean that. Take back. I was like, the word hyena is not meant for Black women. It's just happened that they were bashing me and I was answering a question I, and I, I ended up saying the the word and then so so yeah that that's what happened and then um yeah they were they were mad at me and then I guess I kind of like just got got to the point that I was kind of promoting and 
being on the side of passport pros. And the reason why I said the word hyenas because I consider women who are like, all they do is like, yep, 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 yep. All they do is complain about, oh, the man is not making enough money. So they all, they just whine and complain. And that's why I, I ended up saying those words. And I hear from people like, hey, did you know that you're very popular on YouTube now? You must make a lot of money. It's like, really? I make a lot of money from me being on YouTube everywhere because where is my money right now? I'm still broke. <laughs> you know, the thing that I don't understand, why are they so angry at their own men? And then, you know, they don't want men who are leaving, but they sure do seem to care when they come to, to the Philippines or other Asian countries. I mean, why are they so mad? Obviously, it's not true that all Western women are like this and that. There's a mm -hmm. lot of women out here, so they cannot address it to all women here because I've learned so much for just being here. When they said, someone told me you're westernized, I was like, sure, I am. What's wrong with that? I proved to myself that there are many good western women, and I also proved to myself that there are many bad passport bros hiding behind good passport bros. And so that's why I decided and... um so a lot of passport bros were mad at me. And I said, I don't care if you're mad at me. I'm going to stand for, for uh, I'm going to stand for what is right and what is wrong. A lot of Western women said something about, oh, they're just going there to take advantage. I, I got their point in a positive way. And then I also got their point in, an, in a negative way. A lot of passport bros who are acting like child, they think <laughs> that if we continue promoting them, they're just gonna like, their horn is just gonna go like that. Now, I don't want that to happen. I, right. I, want, I want to eliminate those guys from going to the Philippines, which obviously we cannot avoid that from happening because they're gonna go there anyway. But for me, it's better if we will expose what are the pros and cons of dating Western men mm -hmm. or what are the pros and cons about dating um, West, um, Filipina that way a lot of these good passport pros are aware of who are they going to see, who, who, what kind of women they're going to expect to see in the Philippines, right. right? So that's the kind of the thing that I want to stop. Like, I don't want to, when, when, a, when um, Western women will say, oh, Filipina this and, and Filipina that, I think it's better. Mm -hmm. I don't want to say anymore. And I also want to encourage a lot of Filipina not to like back out. I don't care if passport bros will get mad at me. I don't care. I'm going to stand up for what is right. I don't care if Western women are, are, are considering me as their enemy. I don't care if passport bros are going to consider me as enemy. I'm going to be in between. You know what? I, I totally agree with you. I even made a video. It's basically for all men coming here to the Philippines and using our country as a playground and using our Kababayan, our Filipina Kababayans, our sisters as, you know, as a play toy. Then I don't, I totally agree with you. I don't support those kind of people. They are my enemy. Don't bring that toxic mentality towards women when you visit my country because it's not our fault. Your women are not the same with our women here. And most of us are very, um, call us naive, but you know, we fall in love pretty quickly. So yeah, if you're- We get hurt easily too. <laughs> and you know what, Dai? Um, here in the Philippines, when it comes to a suicide rate, it's not about the, the typical depression and anxiety, like in the Western world. Yeah. It's more of a heart ache, yeah. broken hearted. Yeah, I totally agree. Not all Western women are bad. I mean, there are some, many of them, they have unrealistic expectations for men. The only, the thing is our culture and Philippine culture and Western culture are two different things. We can either just agree to disagree and just respect the differences. So I, I've met a lot of Western women here that became my friends and I asked them, hey, what what is your like you know what's the most important um for when when you're dating a man or a partner it's like oh i just want him to have like have the same you know uh, hobbies and interests it's not necessarily about um money because again a lot of women here they use their beauty to go out on dates and like you know and of course a lot of men they would just buy a lamborghini just so that they can pick up women it's working right it's working so yeah 
course, the majority of, of women here that as far as I know, their expectation um, is, is either high or neutral. For them, because the thing is, they call themselves um, independent, strong and independent. So mm -hmm. there are many couples here that, you know, it's okay for the guy that she doesn't cook. They, you know, they agree to that. They, they don't have to serve their men, but there are men out there who's, you know, looking for a woman who's going to cook and clean and this and that. But, you know, it doesn't mean that they are, they are a slave or a maid and like that. But for us Filipina, we do that, right? Because that is our tradition. We just automatically do that without our partner telling us what to do. And on top of that, we go out and work, but we make sure our house is clean, tidy, and making sure that the fridge is, is, is there's food in there for our men or, and for our kids. But Again, for the women here, again, they're different. They they would say, "Oh, if I wanna be, if I'm, if I'm like um, a lawyer, the guy has to be this." So they want to have their own standard, right? If I'm making a six figure, the guy should be making six figure. If I'm beautiful, I should be expecting that the guy has nice um, car. Um, he can provide me with a lot of gifts and all that. For me, I don't agree with that. That's just who I am. But if I don't agree with this woman, I, you know, I cannot criticize really because it's just the difference. Their mentality is conditioned with this kind of environment. The society has been conditioning these ladies here to be like that, right? But right. a lot of they were. Yeah, they were they were uh, their culture that's yeah. they think that's the normal yeah. way of thinking because yeah. they were raised that way so would you um do you think toxic feminism will ruin things forever between western men and women because of that kind of mentality um yes um only if we people will talk about it all the time making that an issue but if all this man will just keep quiet Go to the Philippines, go to Thailand, go to Asia and find the girl of your dream. Don't have to say anything on social media. Oh, I'm going to Asia because women here are W, you know, and B and this and that. Just don't say anything about it because it's never going to end. Honestly, it's not going to end because you cannot make a woman understand the things that she's never experienced. It. She, she doesn't know about the philippines so she she even though she she has a right to say whatever she wants but it's up to us of how we react to it it's up to mm -hmm. us if they tell us oh this ladies that but i do get their point from those women i get their point that yes there are a lot of bad men calling themselves passport bros not necessarily from passport bros could be caucasian too or other other um, um nationality i've because right. i'm I've seen it right they go to the Philippines because they take advantage of the ladies because they think that we Filipina were too friendly a lot of us Filipina are naive a lot of us are gullible and I was I was uh, like that before too I was like that and that's why for me if I, I was like that too <laughs> right. and so, so learn <laughs> so, yeah until you're not anymore so again yeah. there, are, there are many um, Filipinas who are gullible naive so they're the one who get taken advantage easily by this bad man right I've tried I tried for almost three years now Helga I tried my best both actually being tried I'm trying to be neutral you have to uh, watch out for these kinds of Filipinas don't fall for their scams and I also said to Filipinas these are the kinds of expats uh, foreigners that you have to watch out for don't just you know think like oh they're all good because we're all people yeah every yeah we're all people so not everyone is good don't just spread your legs because you're in love already after one date two dates I'll, 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 I'll,